नमस्ते नमस्कार सत श्री अकाल एंड अदाब दिस इज योर मीनम्मा डॉक्टर मीनाक्षी अनंत राम एंड आई मेकिंग दिस ब्यूटिफुल स्टोरी टू शो यू हाउ हैप्पी आई एम टू शेयर द लोकेशन आई एम इन टूडे मे फेयर पाम बीच रिसोर्ट गोपालपुर ऑन सी Let me tell you the Palm Beach story. No one had really heard many years ago about Gopalpur and Gopalpur returned the compliment. Barely 16 kilometers from Berampur, the commercial hub of Southern Orissa in the Bay of Bengal, it was extremely uncanny of a young Italian Signor Maglioni to mysteriously find home all the way from Sicily and establish the Palm Beach in 1914 making it the oldest hotel of the state and probably the first beach resort of the country Gopalpur on sea how very british the suffix on sea like middleton on sea rankton on sea was a palm fringe beach and Maglioni's dream fused with the sepia and the romance of the langorus town where the silence was broken only by the breakers and the occasional coconut thudding on the ground originally a small fishing village on the coast of odisha then it was so named after a temple dedicated to lord krishna the krishna gopal temple which was built in the 18th century legend has it that gopalpur sands have witnessed maritime ventures at a much earlier age when odisha had flourished as a part of the kalinga kingdom in the 4th and the 5th century bc early colonists to java bali and sumatra were supposed to have salted their waves from out here carrying the seeds of indian tradition and culture civilization with them in odisha people still celebrate this as the bali yatra in november coinciding with the festival of kartik purnima between the two world wars gopalpur was overrun by the men in khakis and became the eastern sector's base to ferry out troops and supplies to rangoon The commercial port became the living symbol of its grandeur and the pulsating lifestyle was evident in the packed dance floors of the hotel. In 1945, World War II came to an end and India inched towards being an independent sovereign republic. In 1947, the British had left the Indian shores and the commercial activity of Gopalpur had dwindled to trickles. The once vibrant emblazoned ballrooms gaped at open skies. The noisy wharves molted. The warehouse became a seedy gateway for derelicts. Gopalpur's importance dwindled when trade with Burma aptly closed abruptly, ceasing with the law and the war. When the British left India, even members of the rich Bengali homes preferred to holiday in other places. and gopalpur became began to revert to what it was originally a fishing village in 1938 another enterprising courageous indian hotelier rai bahadur ms oberoi had already taken over a closed down grand hotel from the armenian steven arthun and reinvented it with the trademark oberoi ilan Ila Ila and the oberoi grand to make it the most sought after address in kolkata In 1947 on a chance visit to Palm Beach his keen eyes did not miss the state of disrepair that the hotel had fallen to his instincts smelt a bargain and Maglioni was only too happy to sell it to the Oberoi's for a paltry 3 lakh rupees thereby enabling the Oberoi's legend to root itself at the Oberoi Palm Beach as its doors opened the who's who of the country ranging from prime ministers to celebrities and royalty left their impressions behind along with their footprints on the sands of time history was being created every day as a hotel played host to the history makers maglioni's mediterranean architecture 
had undergone a makeover by the Oberoi's, but the core of the structure was slowly but surely giving way to the vagaries of nature and the corroding effects of the saline sea breeze. It was in 2011 that Mayfair's stepped in to protect, renovate and restore the Palm Beach, where history echoed from the every cobblestone, lured by the fact that Gopalpur on sea still stood untouched by the concrete commercialism that had destroyed the nearby Puri's equally pristine beach also because Gopalpur was actually rocked and wrapped in a romantic mysticism that tugged at history but refused to drown in its excess. Hats off to Dilip Ray and his team. While the resort captures the appearance and feeling of old colonial with the Mediterranean touch, the outcome is far from simple reconstruction, renovation or reproduction. To preserve the essence of the past but blend it seamlessly with the demands of the contemporary life required many original designs and creative reimaginings. The blue fret, works, rafters, white furniture and artifacts are all new designs but inspired by Ray and his team in keeping with the historical antecedents. Through these tasteful and practical adaptations, Palm Beach will serve a valuable role in preserving the best of colonial Mediterranean architecture, religious learnings and cultural heritage for future generations. Mayfair has now breathed new life into Oberoi, Palm Beach. The Mayfair Palm Beach Resorts is the unique and ultimate tribute to your senses and helps in stealing your time and mind in order to find your DNA, recreate you for future generations. Where always, every time, any day, sometimes the sky looks into the sea, sometimes the sea looks into the sky. I'm here with my family to celebrate a landmark birthday. We've enjoyed the hospitality of the team of Dilipre and his Mayfair, the excellence of service, the hospitality of a true Indian, and above all, the preservation that he has given to ancient culture wrapped in modern techniques. Kudos Mayfair at Gopal Puransi. What a wonderful treat it is to the delectable customer to enjoy life away from the bustle of the city on the lap of nature. The sea talking to me on one side, the sky protecting me from above. The earth giving me ground firm to stand on and above all, the entire hotel and resort wrapping me in love and affection, where my entire family and I have enjoyed three beautiful days in the suite, a beautiful room, replete with a Mediterranean queen bed and a jacuzzi to soak ourselves in love. Thank you so much, Mayfair Gopalpur and Si. Thank you so much for what you do, not just as hoteliers and businessmen, but as brothers and true souls of India, keeping the colonial touch of the past with the true Indian hospitality in the center. Whenever you can, do visit Gopalpur and remember, Meenu lives just a few hours away in bustling Vishakhapatna. You can reach me together. Let's come back to Gopalpur and see and clink our glasses. God bless you all. Let the world be a more beautiful and better beach. Love you all. This is Minamma. Catch the Minamma show on YouTube every week starting from September 2021. Visit me www.meenakshianantram.com I will be waiting.